The last piece in this video is to create a completely new project. And to do that, you'll either select new project from the file menu, or if you're first launching the IDE for the first time during a given day, you'll have the previous window that we showed you that allows you to create a new project, import a project, configure the IDE, etc. And you can click new project in that window as well. So when I select new project, I'm presented with the new project dialog. I want to create a Java application, so I'll leave Java selected and click next. And for this example, we're going to create a project from a template that's called a command line app. And what the IDE will do for you in this case is configure a project that is capable of uh, being used to create a Java application. And that application will contain one class, which in turn will contain the main method that's the starting point for the application. So I'll leave that selected and click Next. I can then go ahead and change the project name to whatever I want. I'll call this one test just for argument's sake and it's going to put it wherever you were last working. So uh, if you want to change that you can click the ellipsis button and by the way by default the IntelliJ IDE in your user directory is going to create a folder for IntelliJ projects. It's called idea projects. So if you want the projects to be stored there, you can go ahead and locate that and select it, or you can place them wherever you want on your system. And I'll go ahead and add test back to the end of this here. So the project name test should be stored in a folder called test. And by the way, if you then create another new project in the future, when it says untitled here, it will also say untitled here by default. And then you'll be able to change the project name and it will change the folder name within idea projects for you as well. Again, if project SDK is empty for any reason, you'll need to click new in this dialog and select JDK to specify where to find the JDK. Here it already knows that I want to use JDK 8, uh, which is Java 1.8. And then finally, the base package option, I'm going to remove that for the um, purposes of the examples that we present in most of our chapters and videos. Uh, we do that for simplicity. In general, when you're creating industrial strength programs, you'll want to place every class you create into a so-called package. And we discuss those concepts in higher end chapters and lessons of our videos. So we'll leave that empty for now and click finish. At this point, uh, you, it's going to ask you if you want to create that folder and I'm going to click OK to say yes. And we'll open this new project in this window. Now you can see that it creates the test project. Within that is a source folder that contains the main class. And you can see that main class here over on the right side. By default, the IDE produces curly braces in a location that's different from where I like to put them. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter to drop each opening curly brace to the next line. And let's go ahead and just write one line of code here uh, that's going to display welcome to Java. So as you start typing in the IDE, it's going to help you write your code. It displays this window in which you can select um, based on the context what you want to enter. So I'm going to be using an object called system.out in this case to print something. So system.out dot is going to then display all of the different methods I can use on the out object. And as I start typing print, you'll notice it narrows down the list to only items that start with what I've typed so far. And in fact, I'll be using print LN, which stands for print a line of text. And when I enter the opening left, parenthesis, it automatically inserts the closing right one. When I type a double quote character for a string, it automatically inserts the closing double quote character. So I can immediately start typing welcome to Java. And I'll put an exclamation point on that. And notice there's a little red squiggly here because I haven't finished this statement. It needs a semicolon. So as you're typing the code, the IDE is compiling it in the background so that it can help you with syntax and other compilation errors. So I'll go ahead and click after that and put in my semicolon to complete that statement. 
At this point, I can either right click main or click the play button up on the toolbar or select run uh, and then run main to execute this program. It will build the project and then execute it down here in the bottom of the IDE. At this point, you're now ready to begin using this IDE with our books Java How to Program 10th Edition and Java SE8 for Programmers or with our Java Fundamentals Live Lessons videos.